Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sunil Ishwar. I am the lead consultant gynecologist, laparoscopic surgeon, infertility specialist and authority in high risk pregnancy in Astra RV, JP Naga. Uh, today I will be talking on a very uh, interesting case. Uh, not very interesting though, but then one of the most dreaded case when we talk about obstetric emergencies. Uh, we had this patient who was referred to us from outside uh, at around 34 weeks of gestation with the diagnosis of placenta previa. Placenta previa is a condition where the placenta, that's the organ which supplies the uh, blood to the baby, is located in the lower part of the uterus. So at 34 weeks, this patient had some bleeding and when scan was done or she previously had, she also had the scan and when we did the scan here, it was a complete placenta previa. So we conservatively managed her, uh, we built her hemoglobin up and then we kept her for 4-5 days and she was stable and then we did the counselling uh, cons uh, consultation, sent her back and we posted her for an elective caesarean at around 37 weeks of gestation. But it so happened that she had again one more bout of bleeding somewhere around 36 weeks and we had to yeah, admit her again. When we did the scan this time, we also saw that the placenta was invading into the muscle or even going up to the serosal layer which is called as placenta increta or percreta or adherent placenta. So now the issue with this kind of condition is when we do a delivery or mo most of the delivery is by caesarean when we do a caesarean section it becomes very difficult for us to extract this placenta and when you're doing the caesarean itself you know going up to the baby is also difficult if the placenta is anterior and it doesn't give you much space so uh, invariably we end up having too much of bleeding so we involved our interventional radiologist team and we did what is called as uterine artery balloon so what we do in this case, uh, situation is that we, uh, when we post the patient for a surgery, we take them to cath lab. We have a, a modular cath lab which can be converted into OT also when needed. So we take her to the cath lab. We insert a balloon into uterine arteries, both sides. And then we start the caesarean procedure. So when we start the caesarean procedure, before we cut or incise into the uterus, we inflate the uterine artery uh, balloons. So by inflating this balloon, the blood flow to the uterus is temporarily cut. So we can easily uh, do the caesarean, deliver the baby, remove the placenta, or if it is not a very badly adherent, we can remove the placenta. If it is not, uh, if it's adherent badly, we can leave back the placenta. That's different. But in this case, the placenta was not very badly adherent. So we were able to remove the placenta, secure the uh, bleeding. Uh, wherever there was oozing, wherever we thought it could bleed. We also did a, what is it called, a uterine artery uh, ligation. <clears throat> and then we asked our uh, radiologist to reduce the pressure on the balloon. So balloon pressure is reduced and we can check whether there is any fresh or increased bleeding. So if there is increased bleeding, which we had uh, in our case, we again went back and did the suturing of the bed. Uh, that's the placental bled, bed to control the bleeding. So again, the procedure was repeated, we asked, we asked them to reduce the pressure and check for the bleeding. Luckily, the bleeding was less. So, we went ahead with the closure of the uterus and we, uh, you know, managed the patient uh, very successfully. So, advantage of this procedure is one is, yes, we are prepared for it. There is a multidisciplinary team available. Bleeding is significantly less because we have already noted that most of the placenta previa would bleed heavily and invariably requiring blood transfusion. Many a times this kind of bleeding would also require what is called as a caesarean hysterectomy. So this kind of a complication can be avoided if we could uh, you know, do this procedure. But then to do this procedure, we need a very expert uh, interventional radiologist who can place the catheter in the right place. So at around uh, 36 uh, weeks, for three, four days, we did the caesarean. The baby was fine. Baby uh, did not require any NICU stay. The mother and uh, her family were quite happy about what happened here. Takeaway from this is, as in this case, we knew that the patient can have complication. But when this complication is going to become visible or present to us is not always predictable. So we should be always be ready for any complication in obstetrics. 
or in the delivery of the child. So when we have a multidisciplinary team like uh, interventional radiologists, anesthetists and high risk pregnancy care, uh, ICUs and NICU, we are very comfortable managing such a high risk pregnancy in Astra RV JP Nagar. Thank you.